The kingdom of God, which is love unconditional, rules, reigns, and lives in us when we humble ourselves and make Jesus our Lord and Savior. Top of the morning to you. So the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are used interchangeably in the scriptures. The kingdom of God refers to when God rules and reigns. The kingdom of heaven is God's home. Also, we know by definition in 1 John 4, 8, God is love. In verse 16, he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Add Luke 17, 21 to the mix. The kingdom of God is within you. In John 3, 3, Jesus said, no one can enter the king or can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. In verse 5, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and spirit. Now, one of the many things you conclude with all these facts is that God, who is love personified, rules and reigns and makes his home in those who make Jesus their Lord and Savior or born again. As God's children, our authority lies in our righteousness, which we were gifted by Jesus. Now, this righteousness is described in Psalm 45, 6. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter or symbol of authority of God's kingdom. So in place of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven phrases, we can substitute this, unconditional love. And this is where we learn, like in Matthew 6.33, it's where it says, Seek first the, uncondition the kingdom of God or the unconditional love or agape love, and God's righteousness and your basic needs will be taken care of. Mark 4.30, 430, unconditional love is like a mustard seed, small but produces big results, that are useful to helping others. Mark 10, 24, people who trust in riches will have a hard time loving unconditionally. 1 Corinthians 4, 20, un unconditional love gets stronger, not because of words, but God's power. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, the unrighteous cannot enter into unconditional love. James 2, 5 says, only those who love God are promised the kingdom of God or unconditional love. Matthew 7, 21 tells us one of the prerequisites of entering into the kingdom of God or unconditional love is obedience to Father God. Matthew eleven twelve tells us unconditional love or the kingdom of heaven is not something that comes easily. The violent take it by force. You have to want it. Go after it with passion. Matthew thirteen forty four, unconditional love is like a hidden treasure. It is valuable and worth everything you have to go get it. So how do we ex access the kingdom where unconditional love rules and reigns in our lives? Matthew 18, 4, humble yourselves to receive. Mark 1, 14, Jesus tells us to repent and believe. Luke 9, 62, don't get stuck looking back. Look ahead. The end result, you can come away with a valuable treasure described in Romans 14, 17 as full of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. What a great gift for this Christmas season. Have a great day.